Uh, this is just a short video to say thank you because we've had a really good year. So I want to share with you some of the things that we've achieved over the last year and our plans for the coming year. These are just a few of the individuals and the teams that we've had the opportunity to say thank you to this year through the Going the Extra Mile Award. So there's two key themes I want to talk about. The first is that improvement is everybody's responsibility. And the second is that the way that we're thinking about how we improve care for patients is by how we value their time. And, and really what that means as well is that if we value patients' time, we make the best use of staff time as well and we become more efficient altogether. So here is just some of the highlights of our achievements last year. First of all, we were incredibly busy. We had more than 60,000 people came through our emergency department and that was 10% more than the year before. We uh, more than 600 people every day were visited by our teams in the community and 6,000 people every month had their diagnostic test with us. So what's improved over the last year? Well, the first thing we should all be really proud of is that we, were we are the most improved trust in the NHS for mortality, moving from 118 to so a higher than expected level of mortality down to 95, which is now slightly below what we'd expect. For patients waiting for urgent treatment, we're still not at the 95% target. We've made a really big improvement up to 85%. And there's, no now, there's now no patients waiting over 52 weeks at the, end of, uh, at the end of each month. A really good example of valuing patients' time is our one-stop urology clinic, where we've halved the amount of time that patients have to wait for their diagnosis uh, if they've got suspected cancer through a one-stop shop, which means that they don't have to come to see us three times to get that diagnosis. They have it all done on the day. And it's better for us as well because it's more efficient. So what else has improved? Well, we value patients' time by causing them no harm. And we've had reduction in pressure sores and in uh, falls for patients who are in our care. Also, 8% of patients now go directly home rather than going home through a community hospital because of the investment in our community services. And we've achieved all of this whilst delivering the biggest cost improvement programme that we've ever delivered, and we've saved more than £10 million. And overall, that means that our productivity has gone up by 6%. So thank you very much for all of your hard work in achieving the things that we've done in the last year together. Communicating and engaging with staff is a really important part of how we continue to improve things into the future. There's lots of different ways in which we can keep in touch with each other. One of the things I've just finished doing is the staff engagement sessions this year, so if you're one of the people who was involved in that, thank you very much. We were concentrating this year on what can the organisation do to help staff with their health and well-being whilst they're at work. So we've got lots of ideas to start thinking about for the coming year. So here are some of the key things that you've told me are important to you. You said that you want consistent leadership, so we've put in place the leadership charter and we're investing quite a lot in leadership training for managers this year. You told me that we need to value staff and recognise their achievements uh, more, so we've talked about the GEM Awards already. But also we've created that annual event so we can celebrate excellent practice, help more staff to work flexibly for us, and to make sure that we improve um, appraisal systems, which we're going to launch very soon. And lastly, making sure we have the right equipment to do the job. The acute medical unit was a really important thing that we did this year to help care for uh, patients going through our urgent care pathways. But also, we've, we're investing in our radiology equipment and updating it over the next uh, couple of years, something which has started, uh, started already. And of course, it's really important that we get that investment for the hutted ward replacement, and we are expecting that to come through in the next few weeks. The other way that we get your feedback is through the annual staff survey. So last year, there were a number of areas where you said we'd improved quite a lot. So things like our safety culture and staff engagement. But the area that you said deteriorated was in health and well-being at work, so that's why we've made that our theme for this year's staff engagement. So we need to build on the success that we had last year to really improve services even more over the coming year. So these are the objectives for the organisation for the next 12 months in our quality improvement, in integration, in workforce and leadership and in sustainability. These are going to be published in Trust Talk um, and they're going to be in posters around the organisation. But this is our roadmap for how we build on our success and make sure that we continue to improve for the coming year.